Here we go. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Here on Madison HD Sportsnet, presented by the Jamie Alumni Association, and we're joined by men's soccer Sean Martin. And uh, you just uh, participated in the Ice Bucket Challenge. Uh, ha, talk about that. Um, I'm freezing right now. Um, I'd like to thank Bill Groban for putting in his time here for five years. That's the only reason why we let him um, pour the ice bucket all over us. But on a serious note, I'd like to thank Leah and Stacy, two of the staff members of the women's soccer team, who uh, really put this on us. So it's all for a good cause. Great. All right, let's talk a little bit about preseason. Uh, you know, what are your initial thoughts on, on the team uh, a week and a half into preseason? Well, I think things are good. Um, I, and it's interesting that you want everything to go very well on the field, but it's also interesting to have these guys come together so well off of the field. Um, yesterday we did a uh, little swim competition on our first day off, and guys seemed to get really into it. But on a serious note, guys seem fit. Um, guys seem into a lot of what we're doing, and the upperclassmen seem to be taking care of the underclassmen, showing us how we, showing them how we do things here. So, uh, on a couple days away, you guys uh, get to face someone besides your own selves, which I know the guys have to be amped for, as well as the coaching staff. Uh, what are you looking to get out of Tuesday's exhibition with UMBC? Well, I, I, absolutely. There's always that time in preseason where guys get sick of picking each other. Um, we haven't hit that line yet, but hopefully, um, you know, the scrimmage is at the right time. What we'll look to do is get a lot of playing time out of a lot of guys. We treat it as a, a real experiment, and that, you know, not that we don't care about results. We hope we win. Um, we look to win every game, but uh, we really want to get some quality playing time from a lot of guys and get questions answers, and then we form our starting lineup going into our, our, our second scrimmage. That's really the goal. You kind of have a mixture of roster from top to bottom. Um, you know, talk about what kind of role do you feel these uh, incoming freshmen are going to have, uh, especially on Tuesday? Well, I, I think on Tuesday they'll all get a lot of playing time. Um, and if the, some don't get significant one, significant playing time, they will in the, in the, in the second scrimmage. But we um, you know, are pleasantly surprised with all of them. Um, and we, we, we would see them either whether it's a starting role or getting significant time off the bench or even just contributing maybe the last 10 or 12 of all of them having a chance to play this year. Um, usually this time in preseason we see one or two guys who we may already look to redshirt. As of, as of right now, I think we feel very confident in all, all, all nine of the guys that came in. And finally, uh, Fui talked about uh, the fitness level of the guys. I mean, how do you feel they are fitness-wise, and, and how will that kind of play into the rest of preseason heading into the regular season? Um, well, fitness is always a big question mark in that, um, you know, we, we work so hard all spring to get that base up, and then it's always a question of how, the, how they're going to handle themselves when they're back home or if they're having good quality training environments over the summer. But all in all, I think for the most part, the fitness is pretty high in this group. Um, and, and, and the bottom of the group, I think they have a high fitness level as well. Usually, again, there's four or five guys who, um, you know, shows up right away that they haven't done, 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 done the work. The body fat percentages are pretty good. Um, the weights are down. Um, and, and, again, it gives us the opportunity to, to do more on the field with the ball than to uh, have to just run them all the time. So it's, it should lead to a much more enjoyable and productive preseason as a result of the work we did over the summer.